My name is Matt Vicky, and uh, I'm pretty proud that I've been uh, accompanied by other seals. We see, uh, maybe we see this 3D object, but we still see a, a flat uh, surface or flat yeah, screen. Flat. Because they're uh, perfectly aligned. Yeah, not too bad, but I mean, I like to see it. Well, we can change that. Very we can. Oh, wow. Can we come back for no, this? No, 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 Anna, I want to have 3D now. Okay. Anna? No. Matt, could you just stop pressing this? Sure. Anna. Matt. <laughs> okay. okay. I like it. That's 3D as well. So, um, what you see here is, uh, we got the, the, the dinosaur, which is in 3D, and uh, as Anna was right as well. But, uh, yeah, it's true. We don't need to have 3D all the time. Why should we? 3D is a highlight of the show. It's okay. okay. I'm wrong. I'm going to keep them going. So, what is 3D actually? It's, uh, we all, always talk about stereoscopic 3D, but first of all, we should probably start where it actually comes from. And, uh, we have two different angles. So, if we see uh, two pictures, it's the left and the right side, and we would put those two together, you can see that they don't actually don't what? match. <laughs> and, um, the more advanced polarization is circular polarization, that's the one we're using here, that's all the glasses you're wearing now, see glass. And at the end, it's about separation of the image, and this is basically pretty well achievable with the polarization as well. And see how 3D... What? No, I'm oh, sorry. But we have some fun pictures as well. Oh, why doesn't it work? Uh, oh, this is we, we, we only did, we didn't only just work. We had some fun as well. But um, the, the very interesting part of Martin Brinkhoff Associations was that we had that uh, the whole setup you see right there in the uh, time wrap, um, that we had it already in the studio. So it's like we only had only things there. <laughs> no, we did. We did work there. I worked. Yeah, with all that you actually have to try it out. I mean, you can't just prepare everything like in your little office and then go on site and see how it works. I mean, with 3D you have to uh, play with the with the depth and see how it how it how it works. <laughs> Make this surface effects. 
nothing to prevent them from all the time. Oh, there's a movement from the other guys. There's a play button right here on the motor. It brings you a little bit closer and shows you uh, the multimedia presentation on the virtual plasma display outlining what we've done in, in Frankfurt, the screen tracking. And this motor piece was, um, was pretty important in this show as it was used in the presentation. So imagine there could be a product video running in the back in 2D and in front is the product itself. It's the most latest. In this case, you can fly around. And even while it's moving, I can figure it's tail. So we dug the whole thing a little bit further because we thought, of, hey, if you have X file where you can use them just for displaying complex 3D objects. Then I'm using a lighting board and I can punch up these space and you're done. And I have all the functionality of the media server of course. It's a pretty interesting field, but it always depends on how you adapt it to your real life and events you're doing. But I think it's a, it's a quite interesting field, and uh, I thank you very much for your time being here and uh, helping us in the, this presentation. If you have any further questions, I myself are available. Thank you very much. Thank you.